<laughs> you do not sleep on Reese's Cups. Okay, I am now officially 100% done with the new bathroom. We are going up to Florida State University. <laughs> what? Was that a good decision? There's actually more awesome good news, so stay tuned. No, I'm feeling good today. Me it's going to be a great day. Mm -hmm. What's your, your go-to cereal? Fresh mini wheats. Really? It's I mean, all time. Mm -hmm. It's been you know mini wheats, raisin bran Cheerios, honey nut Cheerios, not just regular Cheerios. Mm -hmm. It's just like cardboard. In terms of favorites all time, I got honey bunches of votes. Really? Cinnamon toast crunch. Mm -hmm. Reese's puffs. Huh? Reese's what? Reese's puffs. <laughs> Do not sleep on Reese's puffs. Oh, cookie crisps. <laughs> oh my god. That's just those are just cookies in, in milk. Exactly. I love cookies <laughs> in milk. Yeah, what about raisin bread? Raisin bread this ring? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway. I got a triple connected one. Really? So I'm like kinda feeling feeling good about these things. It's gonna be a great day. Hey, it's Ryan Dad. Here we Ryan go. Dad in the car again on the way to school. That's great. This is great. This That's is great. great. It's the greatest. Um, today is September 20th, 2022. We're early for school at FCA. Uh, they, we meet future controllers of America. Yes, the future controllers of America. <laughs> um, at FCA, so that we meet Tuesday mornings before school. And, um, I get to see all my friends, which is nice. That's and, cool. Uh, it's in my first period class, so that's pretty convenient. Anyway, uh, What is FCA again one more time? Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Oh, that's nice. That's right. Yeah. Um, and then I have some golf after school. Oh, cool. And it's going to be a great day. Yeah. That's a way. To, that's definitely a great way to approach the day, you know? This weekend, um, we are going up to Florida State University. We're going up to Tallahassee. Again? Again. Oh, my God. I know. Oh, it's Parents Weekend, right? We're going up to Parents Weekend. Well, then why is it? It's not Brothers Weekend. I know. It's not Brothers Weekend, <laughs> so I don't know why I'm going, but I guess I am. <laughs> Oh. That'll be fun. That'll be so much fun. Where are you uh, gonna stay? Are you gonna stay with Brennan? I don't. I don't know. I, I'm sure. Um, FSU is three and zero right now, and we're playing Boston College that weekend. So can't wait. Uh, see Jordan Travis ball out. Hopefully he's not still injured. Anyway. Um, Who, what? Why Jordan are you so? Who is Jordan Travis? The quarterback. Ball out. What does ball out mean? Does that mean play? Game. Have a good game. Oh. <laughs> ball out. Uh -huh. Ball. It's like ball was like a basketball term, and then it was just kind of used for everything, uh, you know. I like he's a baller. Like he's a baller. He's just balling. All right. It's an adjective. Uh, or no, it's a describing for me. It's a describing. Edit that out. It's a describing adjective. Is describing word, right? Right. Yeah. So baller is a describing word. Correct. He's a baller athlete. Right. A couple things. A couple things. One, kudos for getting up early, and yeah, you didn't have you didn't sleep through your alarm. Two. I'm going up to Maryland to work with mom. So oh, you gotta wait, be on your own. You're on your own. Oh my, it's every, just this time. Every week. I, I have not had a full week where you guys are home the whole week. Many folks say, what does uh, what does Daddy O do? So I have a consulting company. It's a customer service consulting company. And I'm gonna go service my clients so we can pay for the gas so we can get you to school and, uh, and go off to Florida State. I can't wait, I can't wait. Um, so you're on your own. So you got to wake up by yourself, right? And you got to go get on the bus, and you got to get back. So yeah, it's time to step it up. All right, you are. Right? I know you got it. You've got it. Oh, I got you, Dad. Right? Yep. Um, you, Reese. And we don't have any paps, so there's no backup. No backup. So if I miss it, exactly. Done. Just that. I remember, like when I used to miss stuff, like you realize, oh no. Yes, the bus. You get butterflies or something. Like, the heart just drops. What are we gonna do? What am I gonna do? You start sweating. Yeah. Right. Let's not make that happen. Pets are gonna kill me. <laughs> You're right. I gotta call mom now. I notice that you always call mom when things get like that happen. <laughs> things. <laughs> what? Why is that? <laughs> I don't know. I. Just, I'm not sure. I'll call you next time. No, that's okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You want okay. me to scream at you? I see. She's like, okay, honey. Well, yeah, actually, exactly. That's exactly why. Because. <laughs> what? Was that a good decision? I'd be like, are you serious? 
But mom's like, all right, sweet, here's what you're gonna do. And she like talks me through it. And I'm like, thanks, ma. <laughs> you start sweating more when I'm when you call me. Exactly. All right, let's not have any of those calls, okay? Okay. Let's try our best. Listen, I, I understand that's the way we learn, right? That's the way Katie and Brennan learn, right? So they miss their flights. And you know, it's like, <laughs> listen, you gotta make mistakes so you learn, right? Of course. But there's gotta be consequences too, so they last they missed. Anyway, don't get me started. Just do the best you can, okay? <laughs> yep. Try to stay focused. Mm -hmm. Call me if you need me. I will. But mostly call mom. Call mom. <laughs> Lesson of the day? Call mom. Call mom. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys. All right. Have a great day. Thanks. Love you. I am finally, finally getting around to finishing the bathroom. The last thing I need to do is I need to frame that poster. And truth be told, that poster is not the exact poster. I ordered that poster. That's the first one I got. And when it arrived, it had been, um, the package had been mushed. It was a bit folded. You can tell kind of there's some creases in there. So they sent me another one. I hung that one up just, um, just to see what it was going to look like. And I have another one. And I went just now and bought the frame. It took a while to find a frame that I wanted, or that I thought would, let me see. Can you guys see that? A frame that I thought, um, would fit nicely in there and they're expensive. So it also took me a while to sort of get over the price. Like is, this was $80. I kept waiting for it to go on sale and never went on sale. And finally I'm like, all right, I had some things to return. So I returned them and then used that credit towards getting this. So anyway, I'm pretty excited about it. It matches, it's like a gray, sort of like a gray driftwood on the outside and it matches the shelves that are above the um, toilet up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this together. I'm gonna have Mike help me hang it, and then I will reveal the bathroom finally. That's been such a fun project to do, and it really shouldn't have taken this long. I was really just waiting on a few things, getting them done and being here to do them and, and justifying the price and all that stuff. But anyway, um, it will be done, and I will take you on a tour of our new bathroom, and um, then it'll be time to work on the next project. So pleased to say I am now officially 100% done with the new bathroom. Take a look. Uh, I'll put a picture in here and a little bit of video of what it looked like before. If you guys, <laughs> you guys might not remember because you've been watching for a very long time or if you've been watching, it was a very long time ago that they, that I started it. But, um, and if you are new to the channel, this is what our bathroom looked like before. We're gonna switch out this curtain. We're gonna paint all the walls white. We're gonna do shiplap over here, get rid of all of those uh, towel racks, put a new shelf up there with towel racks. We're gonna frame out this window, or I'm sorry, mirror. We're going to change out the light fixtures. We're gonna paint this the aqua. We're gonna keep the floors because I like it. It looks like sand, reminds me of the beach. Um, but it's gonna, we're gonna buoy this bathroom up a bit, beach it up a bit. It originally uh, was sort of flamingo-y, and uh, we're gonna switch that out. And may I present to you our new, newly renovated, I should say, bathroom.
thrilled with the result. It couldn't look any different than it was before. Like it was, or it couldn't look more different, I should say. The only thing we did not touch was the floors. And actually, I think that's okay. I would have loved to have maybe like a gray wood floor, but I'm very thrilled with what we have. It kind of makes it look like it's sand. It's sort of a nautical look. Now, <laughs> this rug wasn't originally part of the plan, but Katie and I kept seeing it in Target and she wanted to take, buy one for her for college, take it to college, but it didn't match any of her college stuff. So when we were redoing the bathroom, we were looking for rugs, we we're like, oh my gosh, we have to get the little shark rug. So anyway, that's the little shark rug. But we got a new shower curtain. I was originally gonna go with the towels that we had left over, the towels that we had bought previously, which is this color, like a teal and an orange. And I really did like that, and I was gonna try to do everything like that. But I thought, you know what, let's bring some navy in because it's kind of a boy bathroom now. And, um, but navy and the teal end up being, or the aqua, I should say, it's more of an aqua, end up being a nice, um, compliment of the bathroom for Katie and Brennan and Ryan. So anyways, we got this. I found this online. This was such a hard find. That was probably the hardest thing to find was a navy and aqua shower curtain that wasn't like a beach scene or fishy swimming or whatever. So that striped is really, really cool. I'm very happy. I eyed that on early on. Love it. Got these at Home Goods. We put the shiplap wall up, painted it all white, everything white. We put the frame around the mirror and new lighting and new shelving and obviously painted the cabinets. That was the first thing we did. Now, the first thing we did was painting the walls. First thing I did, painted the walls. Then I painted the cabinets. Then I put up the shiplap. Then I framed the mirror. Then we put the lighting up. Then we did the shelving and then put all the different, ordered this, put this up, got these new uh, towels at Home Goods. And this is from my cousin Donna. She gave me that. I wish you could smell this. It smells fantastic. And I got that at Hobby Lobby when I was moving Katie into her dorm. I went shopping with uh, two of her friend's moms and I found that and I was like, that's the cutest thing ever. And I thought it needed some greenery. So I got this little plant at Home Depot the other day. That's for toothbrushes. This is their towel. This but anyway, you guys comment below. Let me know. Do you like the new bathroom? Are you happy with it? What would you change? What would you add? What would you take away? Um, let me know. I'm pretty excited about it and I'm very much looking forward to doing this type of framing around the mirror in the bathroom that Mike and I share. Um, I just think that's so cool. It was super duper easy. I can't even tell you how easy that was. So anyway, I've been thrilled to share this with you. Finally, we're sharing it with you. Finally, we've finished it. And Mike and I have some more news that we want to share with you. It's not just all about bathrooms today. There's actually more awesome good news. So stay tuned to find out. I'm going to grab Mike and we can tell you.